What's up, everybody? It's Chris Reynolds here for Wisdom Wednesdays. And man, I'm at home now. Check this out. Christmas. I love this time of year. Uh, you're probably wondering, why are you not out hustling? You're at home. Well, my wife decided to fly to California. So I am rocking the three kids today. Uh, but man, I just started thinking today as I was trying to figure out exactly what I could share with you guys. And I got to be honest that I have been writing contract over contract and listings over listings here lately. And this word kept popping into mind of contingencies like man I want to buy this but it's contingent on this I want to uh I want to offer this but it's contingent on this and I thought man isn't it great that in a world that everything's attached to each other that God found worth in us so much so uh that we celebrate it this time of year where he sent his son down to die but he sent his son down to be born first there's so many times we focus on the sacrifice that we needed for salvation, but how incredible was it that God could look down and love his creation so much that he would become flesh, that he would be born in the most lowly place you could be born. He would live a life that was completely built on reflecting the glory of his father. And it wasn't contingent on if we ever followed him. It wasn't contingent if we ever did this. It was pure love that he loved us enough to send his son down here. And man, I just want to think through that, remember that, focus on that. And I hope you do uh, as well during this season because there is no contingencies when it comes to God's love. So don't take a microscope and start focusing on how you need to be this, that, and the other. But pick up a mirror and start reflecting God's glory. Because here's the deal. Yeah, there's some, there's some things that we should do as followers of Christ. There's some things that uh, we are called to do uh, by Scripture and truth and what Jesus taught us. But if we were to focus completely on just the love that he sent with no contingencies, we would do all those things without being told anyways. Because our sin is what, what binds us, but his birth and death is what releases us to live a life that brings him the glory. And man, I am thankful, so thankful that he looked down and he found worth in me. And I know uh, that you have to feel the same as I do with that. And so why not, even in this crazy, crazy world and crazy, crazy time, do we find a way to make this the most joyous Christmas we've ever had? Not because of things we get. Uh, clearly, most of those things are stuck on a ship anyways, or at least that's what they tell me. But it's about the time we spent and the reflections that we make and the celebration of the one true king and his name is is Jesus. So be joyful, man. Let's be patient and let's be thankful that we have a God that doesn't say, Hey, man, I'm going to love you if. No, He loved us. He loved us so much, man. And there has been no greater love. So hope this encourages you. Hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. Hopefully we talk again soon. And please reach out to the All Pro team if we can do anything for you during this Christmas time. Um, help out with anything, even beyond uh, your real estate needs. We just want to be a part of your story. And we want to be uh, a part of uh, your life and taking the name of Jesus and moving it to the highest place as we can. So have a great Wednesday and hopefully uh, this brought some wisdom to your life.